Good morning, everyone from Johannesburg. Welcome to the launch event of CDP Business Matching in South Africa. I am Carlotta Giarola from Cassa Depositi Prestiti, CDP, CDP for the English audience. This event is uh, organized by CDP, the Italian financial institutions that supports the sustainable and inclusive development of the public and private sector in Italy and abroad. Um, it is organized in collaboration with the Embassy of Italy in South Africa, the Italian South African Chamber of Trade and Industries, and the Italian Trade Agency in Johannesburg. We have a rich agenda today with several special guests join us uh, from Italy and South Africa, representing institutions, companies, and the partners supporting this initiative. CIMEST, Confindustria, Business Unity South Africa, the South African Chamber of Commerce and Industry, the Development Bank of Southern Africa. We will explore together with our guests the business opportunities between our countries and the tools to foster them. Following the event, today and tomorrow, we will be holding B2B virtual meetings on our matching platform among Italian and South African companies that are following the event. The CDP Business Matching Platform is the innovative digital platform developed with the Italian Ministry of Foreign Affairs and International Cooperation that promotes economic and commercial relations between Italian and foreign companies, including the South African businesses. So now I would like to officially open the event by welcoming the Ambassador of Italy to South Africa, Paolo Cuculi. Good morning, Ambassador. So the floor is yours. Thank you so much. Good morning to the many friends present here in Johannesburg, uh, those who are connected in Italy and uh, the many, many I understood uh, connected online from our companies and uh, associations, both in Italy and South Africa. So the list of all the sponsors uh, and responsible of this very important initiative has already been uh, uh, read. So I will limit myself to greet two old friends and great colleagues, Mr. Pasquale Salzano, president of CIMEST and director of international affairs of Casa Depositi and Prestiti, Raffaele Dallangella, Director of International Affairs of Confindustria. With them, our friendship dates a uh, few decades already. And uh, allow me to recognize the Director for Economic Policy of the Business Unit of South Africa, Mr. Maloy, who's here with us. So I'm very glad to be here to open uh, this event and the presentation of the new business matching online platform between uh, Italian and South African companies. Why? Because notably in uh, times uh, of economic hardship uh, where all our uh, efforts are geared towards economic recovery, it is important to identify sectors, areas, countries where there is scope for improved cooperation. And the economic ties, the economic relations and the potentials for further business between Italy and South Africa are greater, stronger and more deeply rooted that on average we realize both in Italy and South Africa and I speak out of my short experience of four years so South Africa it is by far the most important commercial partner of Italy in uh, sub-Saharan Africa 2022 was not an easy year still we recorded the highest level of Italian exports to South Africa, 2.4 billion euros, more or less. We recorded the highest level of bilateral trade between Italy and South Africa, 4 billion euros. I will not mention the rise of the 
South African imports to Italy because it was really stunning. So the potentials are definitely there. Uh, the complementarity between the two economies, uh, as all those who deal with business in Italy and South Africa know very well, uh, are impressive as well. We are not competitors. And if we look very briefly at the, the flows of imports and exports between the two countries, we see that basically we each other import and export uh, goods, uh, machineries, uh, raw materials that are fundamental for the parallel economic development of both Italy and South Africa. And this is very important. Now, uh, as Embassy of Italy, uh, and, and I talk also for the Italian Trade Agency, the Italian Chamber of Commerce uh, here in South Africa, for years we have been pushing uh, to enlarge this cooperation on two tracks. First, traditional sectors that have always been the strong points of our uh, economic relations, machineries on a side, agro-industry on the other side. In parallel, uh, we have invested uh, a lot on initiatives in innovative sectors, biotechnology, renewable energy, aerospace, uh, blue economy, because again, and this is another characteristic that it is worth mentioning, both in Italy and in South Africa, the level of scientific and technological research and the potential of their applications uh, to industry, notably in the fields of the fourth industrial resolution, and I just mentioned artificial intelligence and big data, are really very important and ought to be better studied and better seized as opportunities. Having said that, I'm very glad, as I said, of this opportunity because we need to have the potentials of the South African market better known in Italy and the potentials of business in Italy better known in South Africa. What often lacks is the matching. And this is exactly where the platform of Casa Depositi e Prestiti comes into play and uh, i'm sure that uh, it will be the most useful tools and the speakers after me will better highlight it uh, a final remark uh, when we talk and i say this for our uh, italian friends uh, uh, connected online when we talk of south africa we must not forget that south africa is not only the most uh, the most industrialized country in sub-Saharan Africa. It is also an ideal platform uh, to start business in the African continent as a whole, because of its infrastructures, because of its financial system, because of its rule of law system. That is a crucial element for somebody who has to do business. And uh, let's remember that in the near future, thanks to the African continental free trade area, a market potentially worth 1.3, 1.5 billion people will be open to companies starting their business in the African continent, in sub-Saharan Africa, and definitely South Africa would be a place of choice. So all the structures uh, of what we call the Sistema Italia in South Africa, the embassy, our consulates in Johannesburg and Cape Town, the Italian trade agency, the Italian South African Chamber of Commerce are at the disposal at any moment of companies, associations in South Africa and in Italy to facilitate contacts to study potentially joint initiatives in the sectors I mentioned or for what matters in other sectors that may be deemed relevant or of interest. So uh, don't be shy, don't hesitate. We are here, 
as we say in football, we are playing for you. So thank you so much. We look forward to uh, an interesting debate uh, and please let us know to what your feedbacks and interests are. And again, a great thank you to Casa Depositi e Prestiti for this excellent initiative. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Ambassador. Thank you very much for being here, for your support in organizing this, this event, and for your words about Italy-South Africa economic and trade relations. We are not competitors, you said. And uh, thank you for your words about the CDP role in fostering uh, these relations. Uh, and now I would like to introduce uh, a video from Italy of the Director of European International Affairs of uh, CDP, Casa Depositi e Prestiti, and President of CIMEST, Pasquale Salsa Salzano. Thank you. Thank you and good morning to everyone connected from Italy and South Africa. First of all, let me thank Ambassador Cuculi, my dear friend Paolo and the Italian Embassy in Pretoria for their support in organizing this initiative. Also, I would like to thank Chief Director Senona for accepting the invitation to join the event together with all the relevant partners for supporting the promotional activities. The Italian South African Chamber of Commerce and Industries, the Italian Trade Agency in Johannesburg, Confindustria, Business Unity South Africa, the South African Chamber of Commerce and Industry, and the Development Bank of Southern Africa. Thank you all. South Africa is Italy's main economic partner in Sub-Saharan Africa, and we are looking to further strengthening our bilateral trade and relationships. Italian companies are already operating in the country with investments and technologies. Today's event is aimed at providing a comprehensive overview of how South African and Italian companies can grow together. In particular, CDP Business Matching Platform is a digital tool jointly developed by Cassa Depositi e Prestiti, CIMEST, and the Italian Ministry of Foreign Affairs and International Cooperation, with the aim of facilitating business relationships and trade exchanges between Italian and foreign companies, including South African ones. The platform aims to strengthen and widen the range of existing tools that promote the export and internationalization activities of Italian companies in the South African market. It will allow companies from both countries to build business relationships leveraging on our support and a list of selected firms from all industries. Since its launch in November 2021, we have achieved encouraging results with more than 4,000 companies, of which 40% are foreign, already registered on the platform. The service is currently provided in India, Indonesia, Japan, China, Mexico, Morocco, South Korea, USA, and in 2023 it is going to be progressively extended to new selected markets. In the last year, we have signed operational agreements with Confindustria and main local business partners. We have organized more than 500 B2Bs with an ever-increasing number of commercial MOUs signed. I'm sure that thanks to CDP business matching, we will be able to contribute with concrete actions to the development and to the growth of Italy-South Africa bilateral trade relations also due to the collaboration of relevant South African partners. I thank you all for your attention and I wish for a fruitful discussion. So President Salzano reminded us that to this aim at providing a comprehensive overview of how South African and Italian companies can grow together and that the CDP business matching platform aims to strengthen and widen the range of existing tools that promote the export and internationalization activities of Italian companies in the South African market. 
so now, uh, Mr. Joseph Senona, the Chief Director within Trade and Investment and Investment of the Department of Trade, Industry and Competition, uh, was supposed to be here, but unfortunately, uh, he had right now an, uh, an institutional meeting. So uh, he apologizes very much and sends his greetings to the Italian and South African friends. Okay, so now we're going to speak more in detail about Italy, South Africa industrial perspectives with our guests. We have today with us uh, Mr. Raffaele Langella, the Director of International Affairs of Confindustria, Mr. Lunga Maloi, uh, the Director of Economic Policy and Trade of uh, Bus Business Unity South Africa, and Ms. Antonella Marucci, uh, the Director of the Italian Trade Agency in Johannesburg, and Riccardo Onorati Bianchi, the Head of Country system initiative of Casa Depositi e Prestiti. Uh, so we start uh, with uh, Director Langella with us, uh, live from Rome. Good morning, Director Langella. Uh, we can now go a bit deeper regarding the South Africa business relations so we can focus on the role of Confindustria in supporting them. So I'm pleased to leave you the floor. Thank you. Thank you and good morning, everyone. I will start by um, uh, thanking Casa Deposito Presidi for the opportunity uh, that gave us. I mean, we are very much interested in, uh, in the launch of this uh, new business matching platform with South Africa. And uh, allow me to say ciao to my very dear friend, Paolo Cuculi, Ambassador Cuculi. Um, is doing a terrific job, in my opinion, and uh, I, I know that we can count on his support for future initiatives that we will take when it comes to South African market. Um, South Africa has always been considered by Confindustria as one of the most important trading partners. Um, it's uh, um, by far the most important trading partner that we have that Italian industry has in uh, in uh, Sub-Saharan Africa, the fifth <coughs> trading partner overall when it when it comes to the whole African continent, um, and uh, uh, some sixty some thirty eight percent of our exports towards the um, sub Sub-Saharan Africa region. Uh, goes to South Africa. So, I mean, this is a, a testimony of how important can be the South African market for Italian companies. Uh, Paolo Cuculi, Ambassador Cuculi, already said that South Africa is also a very good platform to approach other markets in the region, and Italian companies are very much aware of this. Uh, some of the most important Italian companies are already there, uh, we are talking about uh, uh, very large company, companies like Enel Green Power, ENI, Ferrero, Iveco, Leonardo, Ansaldo Energia. Um, the, the list is very long. I mean, it could, yeah, it could go on for, for several minutes. This, once again, uh, certifies the importance that even for the largest Italian companies, South Africa really has. Uh, we have checked with our system, as you probably know, Confindus is a confederation of federations of, um, of business federations. So uh, we are in contact with hundreds of thousands of small, medium sized and large Italian companies who are willing to expand their activities in the international markets. And the result of this very short survey was that uh, uh, we are aware that there are a lot of opportunities in uh, supply chains in the textile industry, furniture, paper industry, automotive, metallurgy, and cosmetics. Further opportunities are to be found in aerospace, advanced pharmaceuticals, medical devices, electronics, and most of all, green economy, that is quite an important issue, not only for South African companies, but also for Italian companies. As you probably know, we are very, very much involved into green transition, not only uh, nationally, but also at the European Union level. We have quite a, a, a large expertise and deep expertise in this field, and we are willing to uh, offer such expertise to our, our South African partners. Um, I will conclude, I mean, I will not steal your time any longer, but I will conclude saying that Confindustria is at our disposal. We are willing to start 
a structured dialogue with our counterparts in South Africa, because as I said at the beginning of my intervention, South Africa is of paramount importance for us. Also, given the current disruption of the supply chain, global supply chains, and uh, we know that when it comes to uh, loyal and reliable partners, South Africa is at the forefront of our of our interest. So, thanks again for giving me the opportunity to intervene, and uh, I wish you a very fruitful discussion in uh, the rest of your day. Thank you. Thank you to you, Mr. Director Langella, for providing your point of view. I thank you to Confindustria for its constant support um, in our initiative. So uh, now uh, we have Mr. Lunga Maloy, Director for Economic Policy and Trade of Business Unity South Africa. Good morning, Lunga. Please, the floor is yours. Thank you so much, Program Director. Good day, ladies and gentlemen, those who are with us here today and those who are joining online. My name is Lunga Maloy. I'm the Director for Economic and Trade Policy at Business Unity South Africa. Let me extend my regards to His Excellency Ambassador Chiuli. I hope I'm saying your name correctly and to my fellow speaker. <clears throat> Let me also begin by extending my gratitude to CDP and its partners for inviting Musa, not only to take part in today's event, but also entrusting us to be a partner in terms of the implementation of this initiative. I would like to, at this stage, uh, extend my apologies on behalf of our CEO, uh, Mr. Kaskovadia, who unfortunately couldn't be here, but has extended his warm courtesies and support for today's initiative. Maybe by way of background, it would be important to start to explain who BUSA is and how we fit into this entire process. So BUSA is an apex business representative body uh, representing the interests of the private sector in South Africa. We were formed in October 2003. We are the first recognized representative in, of, unif <clears throat> of unified business for South Africa. Uh, today, through our extensive membership base, we as BUSA represent the largest federation of business organizations in terms of GDP and employment contribution. We are a nonprofit organization and we represent a vast cross-cutting organized business interest in South Africa consisting of approximately 35 organizational members representing unisectoral businesses, corporate representatives, chambers of commerce, and professional organizations. Our aim as an organization is to play, is to ensure that business plays a constructive role in ensuring economic and social economic environment that is conducive to inclusive economic growth, development, and transformation. Such an environment, we believe, is critical for businesses of all sizes and in all sectors to thrive, expand, and be competitive both domestically and internationally. Our work is largely focused around advocacy, policy advocacy, which includes influencing policy and the legislative development for enabling an environment that is conducive for growth and employment. Just a few points around the issues of trade. Um, in terms of trade in the African context, South Africa, as the ambassador has pointed out, is a key player as we are the most advanced and diversified economy of the continent. And it's, <clears throat> and it's both a market of great interest and an essential gateway to markets in the region. And this is partly due to our good infrastructure, but also our strong financial institutions. Now, international trade is central to accelerating economic growth and employment for our economy. And one of the ways, of course, in which we can do this is to maintain our existing markets, but also expanding to new markets. And we find that the CDP initiative is but one of those tools that will enable our businesses to reach new markets. 
trade is, is facilitated by conducive conditions. It's therefore important for us as a developing country that we maintain our good infrastructure and an enabling regulatory environment. This is obviously complemented by practical, regional, and multilateral agreements. Although trade itself has significant long-term benefits, it will require, Ambassador, some short-term trade-offs. It is therefore important to find the correct balance that ensures equitable benefits for all parties. CDP business matching platform, we believe will greatly enhance trade relations between Italian and South African businesses. As GUSA, we, we continue to encourage and promote international business cooperation. We want to see our South African businesses grow and become globally competitive. In addition to ensuring that the domestic environment is conducive for businesses to thrive, we are also keen on exploring international cooperation amongst businesses to ensure the international exposure and growth of South African businesses. And we have done this in a number of other areas and a number of other countries, including Greece and Bangladesh. We believe that organizations are not only limited to business within their own domestic territories, and that geographical boundaries should not represent an obstacle for expanding business activities. There is a growing trend among South African businesses looking to expand their operations outside of the boundaries of South Africa. The advancements of globalization has also provided us a greater opportunity to bigger potential markets and securing a great, securing a great basis for relevant manufacturing factors such as raw materials, workforce, well-trained managers, and technical professionals. The advantages of international cooperation provide vast opportunities that South African businesses can take advantage of. This is why we as BUSA are fully supportive of the CDP initiative. The CDP has developed a digital tool which is aimed at promoting and supporting the internationalization of companies and facilitating business-to-business -business interactions between Italian and South African companies. And to implement this initiative, the CDP has then created the business matching and virtual networking platform that by processing the information provided by registered company is able to find business opportunities for users by using a matching algorithm. This innovative tool will assist South African businesses that wish to build working relationships with their Italian counterparts and facilitate greater collaboration. It will also be a platform we believe that will showcase South African businesses' industrial capabilities. This would be especially important to some of our businesses that actively export products to the Italian market. Some of our colleagues who are from the steel and iron sector are here with us today, they would take a keen interest as some of their exports total about 25% of our total exports to Italy. So Ambassador Esbusa, we want to reiterate our support for this initiative. Uh, we intend to support the initiative going forward and cooperate with the CDP as a local implementing partner in South Africa. We are proud to announce that in the coming few weeks, we will be finalizing a memorandum of understanding together with the CDP, which will in essence give effect to the relationship that we are trying to build. As Busa, <laughs> thank you. As BUSA, we, com we, we commit to promoting the initiative amongst our associated members and the broader business community at large in South Africa. We will be encouraging them to register on the platform. We will also be actively rolling out a communication strategy that looks at promoting the initiative itself, including on our official website, the various social networks, but also on our communication to our members, including official emails, and other communication platforms. And in regards to this, we have the full support of our board who have given us the green light to enter into this partnership with the CDP. We look forward to a long and enriching partnership with the CDP and to contribute to the success of this initiative. I thank you.
Thank you very much. Uh, thank you very much, Lunga, for uh, your words uh, and uh, for your point of view. Uh, we attach great importance to the um, collaboration of Business Unity uh, South Africa, and we look forward to working closely together. After Mr. Malai, I would like to welcome the Italian Trade Agency Director in Johannesburg, Ms. Antonella Marucci. Thank you very much for being here today with us. So please, the floor is yours. Sorry. Good morning. I hope you heard me. Sorry. Good morning. Good morning, everybody. Good morning to the ambassador and all the speakers. And I would like to thank the Casa de Positive Presidency for inviting me. I would like to um, give you some uh, um, briefly uh, information about uh, South Africa and the market uh, uh, between Italy and South Africa. Uh, I have a, a presentation, please. Can you next? Okay. Um, briefly, I would like to uh, give you some information about uh, uh, the economic uh, uh, environment. I don't, uh, I needed to see this one. Okay. Um, the growth of the uh, GDP in uh, uh, South Africa, um, of course, uh, had uh, um, some problems uh, during the COVID period. But after um, a very bad moment uh, in uh, 2020, um, when we had uh, a value of minimum uh, less uh, six point uh, thirty, um, the uh, GDPT. Um, started to grow again, and uh, in 2022, the level was 2.3. The uh, forecast for this year is uh, 1.30. Um, this is uh, the, uh, um, the most important uh, uh, value for, for the economic relation. I would like, uh, next please, I would like to uh, to give you uh, some um, information about uh, what are the points of strength and the weakness uh, of the of South Africa. Um, as a, the ambassadors, the ambassador and uh, other speakers said before, uh, South Africa is uh, the most development African country, and uh, this is a big. Because uh, at first, uh, the specialization of the country is uh, uh, as a, a Western uh, country. Uh, we have the 70% of the population uh, empl employed in the services, uh, the 20% uh, in industry, and the 10% in the uh, primary sector. Um, in South Africa, we can found a very advanced uh, financial sector and uh, um, a um, well-structured autonomous uh, private sector. Um, there is a good system of uh, logistic and infrastructure and uh, it represents uh, uh, more than the 22% of the GDP of the whole sub-Saharan area and uh, um, represent the hub for the uh, most important uh, for the other countries, uh, African sub-Saharan countries for um, the uh, logistics and transport of goods. Um, is a, a very important uh, uh, country um, for mineral um, resources, and we can find, uh, of course, uh, uh, manganese, uh, copper, nickel, iron, uh, diamond, uh, gold, uh, um, and others. Um, it's from uh, from to, um, 2016, uh, the um, the country is uh, into the um, um, 
the agreement between the EU and uh, uh, this agreement uh, is uh, um, cover the 18 uh, 88 percent of the uh, Italian product um, mainly our consumer product um, and uh, uh, this agreement uh, um, give the protection of the 15 uh, the um, designation of origin for our product uh, the South African government uh, gave uh, um, support to the, in the industries and the uh, companies, uh, South African companies, in many uh, strategic sectors. And uh, uh, South Africa um, signed the two important uh, agreements uh, uh, for the um, free relationship between uh, African countries. So what is the SETC? SETC is uh, the uh, South Southern Africa Development Community, and the other is uh, the um, African Continental Free Trade Area. Um, this second uh, is a very important because because it covered all, uh, the uh, the main uh, the um, the most part of the uh, South Afri uh, African um, countries, uh, there are um, all the countries that uh, signed the um, the agreement were uh, fifty four, uh, with uh, fifty five are the number total of uh, African countries. But often we can consider uh, some problems of the uh, some weakness, some some problems of the uh, economy. Um, the, uh, for the GDP, we said that after a first moment uh, when the fallen now is uh, um, become started to to grow again. Also, the level are not uh, at the um, the period before the COVID. Uh, we have a high inflection. The uh, in 2022 the level was at the 22 percent, and it uh, sorry uh, the 70.5 percent. And uh, um, in 2023 the uh, level uh, um, in on February it was a uh, seven percent. Um, we have to consider that in uh, the rand, the uh, local uh, um, the local uh, uh, currency, as a, um, a volatility, uh, it's a, almost a volatility, and uh, uh, it's a um, past at some period with a high level and some period with a low level. But uh, in, in general, this is a, can be. A, um, a problem for the uh, country, uh, for the market. But uh, uh, in this moment, uh, uh, for, uh, for example, is uh, uh, very profitable for, for, for uh, Western, uh, um, for the Euro, so for example. Uh, we have to, um, to uh, consider the high um, unemployment uh, and then um, not equal distribution of the um, income. So in 2022, the level is at 32.7%, and in January 2023, the level is uh, almost at 22%, so it's a very high level. Um, for the infrastructure, the, um, we, I said that they are a very uh, spread uh, um, infrastructure system, but uh, in many cases uh, um, it uh, needed to uh, to um, maintenance, it needed to improve. So, uh, sometimes it can be a a problem for the good um, transport of the goods. Um, you can next, please. This is in general uh, the um, the import of uh, uh, South Africa for uh, last year, 2022, and uh, um, the um, the main countries. Uh, um, 
for um, for, uh, for which the, the South Africa import are uh, at first we have China, then we have uh, India, uh, Germany, uh, United States, and others. Italy is the tenth country um, for the imports in South Africa. Um, what are the commodities, uh, um, the the goods that uh, are um, generally imported? We can. Uh, uh, we can see the um, they are in general uh, minerals, um, machinery, machineries, uh, vehicles, and uh, plastic uh, and uh, article, plastic articles, pharmaceutical. And if we next, please, if we uh, can see the um, the commercial. Uh, interchange between Italy and South Africa, we can consider that are all what Italy export in uh, South Africa are the uh, main uh, sector that, uh, no, please, uh, the previous, are the, um, the, the sectors that uh, the, um, the South Africa asks. Um, for example, our Companies in general export uh, machineries, automotive, uh, and by components in, in special, uh, um, in, uh, in special, and uh, um, electrical machineries, uh, pharmaceutical and uh, principles, uh, chemical principles, and uh, plastic uh, um, and uh, um, optical product. And uh, um, for, uh, uh, surely our product uh, for fashion, food, and furnitures. Um, let, um, next, please. I would like uh, briefly. Uh, I would like to ex explain what our Italian trade agency. Italian trade agency is the um, the organization of the Italian government which support the. Uh, Italian companies uh, in their process uh, of uh, internationalization. And uh, we have uh, 77 uh, offices in the world. In uh, um, South Africa, we are present in Johannesburg. And uh, our services uh, are very um, spread very wide. We consider uh, from information to assistance to consulting, uh, promotion, uh, training to uh, it Italian, but also for the foreign um, companies. Um, next, please. Okay. Um, on our website, www.ice.it, we can find in the section the services all the information about what we can, uh, how we can support you. And uh, um, we ask only to uh, realize a, a, a free registration. Um, next is two. Um, relating for um, on the on the our website, uh, you can find uh, information about uh, the uh, each market, uh, about uh, research and uh, information note, and uh, uh, for the training, for example, we have uh, uh, we have some course for um, student and also for um, Italian student, and in um, after this we. We have some training uh, in uh, Italian and foreign companies. Next two, please. Uh, in general, before the assistance we can give to the um, Italian but also foreign companies, uh, some information, general information about the customers or about uh, a list of uh, importer distributors, and uh, we can organize uh, also some B two B meetings uh, between uh, uh, parts, uh, some counterparts, and uh, um, we can give uh, uh, some information about uh, the um, economic uh, development in the um, in each uh, countries next please um, for the commercial uh, uh, trade assistance uh, we can also um, give uh, to uh, the Italian and foreign companies uh, some uh, 
services. Some of these are uh, completely free. There are services to know available immediately on the uh, online, but also they can ask. Uh, uh, can um, the 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 companies can ask these uh, services directly to the local offices. Next free. Uh, there are then eight services at the fee, but uh, for uh, the um, companies, uh, the Italian companies, uh, uh, small, uh, under um, 100 employees, uh, we can offer them completely free. And uh, there are um, called the services to growth because uh, um, the uh, item is uh, to help uh, the companies uh, develop on foreign markets. So we can organize for them specific uh, uh, services as, uh, as they wanted. Next, please. Um, then for the promotion, promotion is the, our first, uh, uh, perhaps the most uh, known um, activity of the Italian trade agency. We organize uh, um, the participation of Italian companies in uh, international uh, uh, fairs and also the participation of uh, um, local uh, counterparts, uh, um, foreign companies in uh, visit to the Italian uh, international fairs. Uh, also, we can organize a workshop, uh, we can organize a B2B meetings in presence and uh, online uh, utilizing uh, our platform. But uh, uh, in any case, if you need any um, information, any more specification, we can uh, uh, be available to your um, request and please ask us as you, as you want to have new uh, information about uh, through our um, email address johannesburg uh, dot, uh, John, johannesburg at ice dot ic it sorry uh, next thank you sorry thank you for your attention thank you Thank you very much, Director Marucci. Thank you very much for being here today. And now it's time to explore what CDP business matching is and how this tool can support Italy South Africa bilateral trade relations. <clears throat> Uh, allow me to introduce Riccardo Norati Bianchi, Head of Country System Initiative at CDP, to briefly present our business matching platform and its benefits for Italian and South African companies. Please, Riccardo, the floor is yours. Thank you. Thank you, Carlotta. Uh, good morning, everyone. Thanks to all companies attending today's webinar and interested in the platform. Now I'm going to show you a brief presentation of the CDP business matching platform. Let me thank all the participants and the presence of Ambassador Paolo Cucoli. So uh, we can go through the first slide. The business matching platform is the new digital tool. Uh, next slide, please. OK, thank you. It's the new digital tool made by Casa Deposito and Prestiti, CDP, in relation with Siemens and the Italian Ministry of Foreign Affairs and International Cooperation, and uh, aim to support the export and the internationalization of the Italian companies, particularly the SMEs. The platform allows companies to meet, share business intentions, and have new commercial partnership. We develop an easy, safe, free of charge, and a digital tool to strengthen trade relations between Italian and foreign companies, and obviously South African companies. Next. We launched the, the business matching platform in November 2021, uh, and during 2022, we activated the services on most complex and faraway countries, such as uh, India, Japan, China, Indonesia, Mexico, Morocco, South Korea. And uh, last January, we launched the tool in uh, USA, 
And now, today, we are really pleased to be here in South Africa to launch and to present the instruments to the South African business community. Together with our relevant partners, let me thank again the Italian in Pretoria, the Italian Trade Agency, the Italian Chamber of Commerce and Industry in South Africa, and our local partners. We listen to Busa, and later we listen to the speech of Sachi. So I'm very proud of the high level and numerous today presence of South African and Italian companies attending the, the webinar. I've been informed that we have uh, around 200 companies uh, participant, participant on, uh, and currently they are connected uh, with us digitally. So I really hope that this tool, this digital tool will be more and more populated in the next uh, weeks uh, about uh, South African business community interested into Italian uh, uh, companies and uh, interested in the made in Italy. In the next slide, we can see that the platform, really briefly, is based and has been built on three main pillars. The first is the database fed by Italian and foreign companies interested in business matching. The second is the algorithm, so the matchmaking system that proposes B2B matches evaluating the affinity uh, among uh, registered companies. And the third one is the virtual networking system that allows companies uh, to use the platform to organize and to attend the B2B meetings uh, or digital event webinar such as today. We, how the business matching systems works uh, is it really easy. Uh, as I said, it's a smart uh, instrument. The companies have to register on the platform and this is very important to define their business uh, intention. And then the algorithm will propose that the algorithm runs every day, every single day of the, of the year, propose the uh, companies, uh, the foreign companies based on their requests and their profile. And then the two companies, the Italian and the, I hope, several South African companies can meet in the virtual room within the platform. And if they need, they can have also interpreter. So the next slide, we can see how, uh, why the, 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 which are the benefits and uh, uh, because there are several reasons uh, to register to the platform, starting from the futures, as I said, because uh, according to us, is a, is a easy, smart, innovative tool that allows company to meet the foreign partners uh, selected according to their business intention. It is always active, is on uh, multilingual, we develop in uh, eight uh, languages, uh, with the live interpreting service and uh, because it is a free of charge system. With regard to the assistant, all companies can, uh, uh, can have a dedicated customer care, uh, always available. And then also they, uh, it's important according to us because uh, this tool could support uh, the small and medium enterprises because uh, uh, to overcome physical barriers uh, and reduce uh, travel cost uh, in, for, in particular for uh, uh, far away uh, international markets. Finally, uh, you know, within the platform, uh, there are a lot of data, news, uh, information on Italian and international markets uh, in several uh, uh, sectors. So this is, uh, uh, according to us, and thanks to the collaboration of international partners, uh, such as today in South Africa, we can uh, account about uh, uh, more than 30 partners that and that so a very important network of uh, foreign on foreign companies in the next slide we can see that uh, we launched say the almost uh, an year ago the instruments and uh, in one year now we have registered more than 4000 companies 60% are italian companies and 40% are foreign companies and uh, we organize uh, uh, more than 500 B2B meetings in the first year and uh, more around 3,000 companies attending attended these, these uh, events. In the next slide, you can see 
that we organize uh, during the first year uh, several uh, events, uh, uh, launch events uh, such as today and the other sectorial events. So we are really ready to organize uh, meetings uh, and B2B meetings and uh, webinar in uh, sector of interest for Italian and uh, local and local companies. In the next slide, we can see the uh, the geographical distribution of the companies already registered. In this first slide, you can see the uh, 1,600 uh, registered foreign companies, the distribution uh, among all the uh, markets where we are currently operative. You can see also on the right side the, the sectors. Uh, you will have this presentation after after this event in order to go uh, through the, the the figures. And the next slide, you can see the distribution uh, about the Italian companies uh, that are currently more than 2,400. And you can see the distribution in uh, for the re Italian regions and also for the uh, sectors. The next slide, please. So uh, I'm going to, to finish my presentation. We are uh, organize, uh, organizing new events. Uh, we are going to launch also a new instrument within the platform. The marketplace is already uh, activated. And uh, we also will uh, use the metaverse and uh, uh, blockchain and artificial intelligence. So in order to give more and more services to all companies uh, uh, registered in the, in the platform. In the next slide, you can see the final slide, the partners uh, and the customer service uh, contacts and the link to sign up uh, and to register immediately uh, to the platform. Uh, after this webinar, uh, after the conclusion of the, the webinar, I'm pleased to inform you that uh, we will host on our platform the first B2B meetings among Italian and South African companies. And I really hope that in the coming weeks, uh, we will increase these uh, uh, possibilities for the both two business communities. So, uh, as I said, there is available on the website, you can download. And uh, now I'm really, really pleased to launch uh, a video promotional of the uh, plat of the CDP business matching platform. So thank you for your attention. There is a smart way to increase your business and meet new Italian partners. Discover CDP business matching, the network that connects your company with Italian firms selected according to your business needs. CDP Business Matching is free and smart. Register now on businessmatching.cdp.it, select your goals, and meet the most suitable Italian partners for your business. I think it's an incredible platform. I think they're going to be able to connect a lot of people together. I myself have connected already through them and I wait to see uh, how many more partnerships and more businesses that I can do together through the platform. CDP Business Matching allowed us to enlarge our business and consent us every day to be more competitive in foreign market, very complex and far. Shape your network. Join now CDP Business Matching on businessmatching.cdp.it. Buongiorno again and good morning to our audience here in Santon and online from Italy and from the South Africa. My name is Pamina Bora. I am the Secretary General of the Italian South African Chamber of Trade and Industries. We're a locally registered nonprofit company with a mandate of facilitating bilateral trade between Italy and South Africa. And it is my great honor and pleasure to welcome my panelists here for the second round table of today. I believe we're running behind with the program, so I'm going to be very brief and I'm going to address to each of you only one question. 
um, so that we can finish on time for our online audience. So let's get started right away with Mr. Giulio Dalmagro, who is the Head of Development Finance at CDP. And my question to you, Mr. Dalmagro, is about the instruments that are available to companies with a specific focus on small and medium-sized companies and um, perhaps a few words on specific sectors where you see particular opportunity right now. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Pamina. Uh, yeah, I try to be very concise. Um, well, first of all, products. Uh, we, are, we are a bank. We are Italian development bank. So, of course, what we can offer is, uh, is financial products. We have quite a, a broad uh, n n number of tools that we can we can provide to companies, uh, to to find local financial institution, to to projects uh, in in South Africa. Uh, first of all, of course, our our main activities is uh, financing, so we can finance uh, both Italian companies investing in in South Africa and South African companies which are um, investing in, uh, in impact sectors, sectors that provide sustainable development for, for the country. Mm, at the same time, and especially when we talk about a small and medium-sized enterprise, we have quite a significant activity as uh, um, indirect financing. So, so we can provide lending to, um, to financial institutions, to local financial institutions. By the way, we, we had the opportunity to uh, to work together with um, with uh, Development Bank of Southern Africa, uh, financing them for for a, um, a social infrastructure program, um, and and we can invest in funds. So we can invest in uh, in uh, either private equity or debt funds, which are focusing on 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 uh, uh, sectors that we deem as as uh, impactful and and like like climate, like agri. Let me say what you you mentioned. What are the most important sectors where we're trying to 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 operate? Um, first of all, I, I would say climate. Uh, climate is um, taken in a, in a broad sense. So both mitigation programs. It could be, um, of course, renewable energy. It could be energy efficiency. It could be greening of sectors um, where where there is a high impact in terms of uh, production of of um, of gases and and and, and pollution, um, we can uh, support adaptation programs. So uh, it could be water uh, water related projects. It could be um, agri when it is connected to to um, climate change. Um, and um, regarding the agri, I would say another sector which is priority for us is um, food security. Uh, um, uh, even in this case, it will be in a, in, a, in a broad sense. So it could be uh, primary, so production of agri uh, products. It could be um, transformation. Uh, it could be all the, the logistic and uh, value chain. So those are definitely sectors where we are uh, right now uh, focusing our activity and where we can manage, we will manage in the near future, uh, um, also uh, resources of the Italian government and of the European Commission. So we will be able to provide, uh, aside of financing and investment, um, technical assistance grants in order to uh, provide for project preparation and, and uh, uh, pr technical assistance. Thank you, Mr. Dalmagro. That certainly sounds very exciting for companies both in Italy and in South Africa. So my next question to our panelists from DBSA, the Development Bank of South Africa, we are speaking to Mr. Mohan Vivekanandan, who is the group executive of origination and client coverage at the Development Bank of South Africa. So very briefly, if you could talk to us about uh, DBSA's mandate and specifically a few words on the social infrastructure that Mr. Dalmagro mentioned. So what type of funding and which sectors within that do you currently fund? Thank you. Great. Um, thank you very much for the opportunity. Uh, the DBSA, we are owned by the South African government and similar to CDP, our mandate is to you know, promote developmental projects. In our case, our mandate specifically focuses on um, various sustainable infrastructure sectors. 
So the, the largest is in the energy sector, but also we do a lot in municipal infrastructure, in, in transport and logistics, telecoms, water and sanitation as well. Specifically now, you know, speaking to social infrastructure and the line of credit, um, you know, very thankful for CDP for the 50 million euro line of credit, specifically targeting social infrastructure projects in South Africa. Now, it's an area of growth for us. Uh, so, for instance, we've invested in a number of privately operated hospitals in South Africa. We've closed four of them in the, the last two years. Uh, uh, meaning clo you know, completed for transactions. We're also investing in affordable housing, in student accommodation, um, and also some innovative educational opportunities as well. So uh, those are all of the various sectors we believe that, that we can utilize the funding. And really what the DBSA's additionality to, you know, to commercial banks is that we're able to provide longer tenor and more riskier capital into those project structures. Uh, to complement, you know, the funding that's coming from commercial banks um, and from, you know, the private investors on the equity side as well, including, for instance, what we're able to do is to provide a form of capital for Black South African entities to put in as their equity contribution where they may not have enough. So that allows them to, you know, ensure that they are also deploying their equity to match, you know, investments that may, for instance, be coming from uh, an Italian investor that they may be jointly working with. So that's a way, another way that we are promoting that type of collaboration between Italian, South African companies. You know, we've supported a number of projects with Enel as an example in the past in the renewable energy sector. Uh, and so, you know, we see uh, significant opportunities for cooperation in, in the various sectors that I've mentioned. Thank you. And it's really wonderful to hear that these projects in the much needed sectors are happening and that you are able to be a catalyst for these projects where otherwise without your presence and without your intervention, they may not happen. So this is certainly very positive. Our next speaker is going to join us online, uh, Ms. Francesca Alicata. Uh, she is the Chief Institutional Relations and Indirect Channels Officer at CMIST, CMIST within the CDP group specifically works with the internationalization of small and medium sized entities. Uh, thank you very much for, um, for giving me the floor. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. Thank you very much uh, for this uh, important uh, opportunity. Uh, CIMEST is part of uh, Cassa Depositi e Prestiti and uh, we offer financial support to the Italian company that want to uh, develop their international growth. Uh, working with CIMEST means having the support of the Italian government and we offer offer three types of products. Uh, firstly, we offer soft loans uh, for SMEs, such as a program for entering foreign markets, a temporary manager loans to attend, uh, um, an, uh, attend uh, uh, international fairs or international exhibition, or loans to create uh, <coughs> an e-commerce, <coughs> sorry an e-commerce platform. Uh, for the, those products, we offer a very low interest rate and uh, that, uh, that is 10% of EU benchmark rates. Uh, this line of products will, uh, will be available in a few weeks. The second product that we offer is equity investments. We are like um, private equity and we do a joint venture with an Italian company that needs to have the majority share in the foreign, in the foreign company. Uh, we are just a, a minority partner and uh, the Italian company will have the possibility to use also the venture capital funds that have very favorable terms. Uh, the way out for this joint venture is eight years and we offer a very low interest rate too. Uh, the last product, but not the least, is our uh, export credit that include buyer credit and supplier credit. With this line of product, we offer the possibility to the Italian exporter to, very, uh, to be very uh, competitive. So with these uh, products, the Italian exporter can offer 
to the foreign buyer an extension, an extension of more of the 24 months for discounted debt security at a favorable rate. As I say early, the three products that we offer can make a very huge difference to, the, to an Italian company looking to expand their business abroad. Just to underline what we have done in Africa in the last two years, in terms of soft loans, we support uh, um, 88 uh, operations for a total amount of 23 million of euro, 11 equity uh, operations for a total amount of uh, 38 million of euro, and uh, 30, uh, 31 export. Uh, export credit operation for a total amount of uh, uh, 500 uh, million of euro. Uh, I am at your disposal and uh, thank you very much for your uh, attention. Thank you, Ms. Alicata. And it's certainly very exciting for companies online to hear about the wonderful tools that are available for these partnerships. And this is particularly relevant to my colleague here from the South African Chamber of Commerce and Industry, uh, Mr. Alan Mukoki, he's the CEO of Saki. So I'm sure your members are getting very excited right now hearing about the opportunities. And I'd like to ask you your thoughts on uh, the importance of trade and investment and specifically about developing these partnerships between companies in our two countries. Thank you. Well, thank you so much. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, and good morning to all the, good afternoon to all the colleagues. I, I think it's a very important issue. We're excited as Saki, of course, to be uh, associated and to partner with the Italians in driving this CDP digital platform to enable uh, our companies and Italian companies to do business with each other. The issue of trade is very important because we face very significant uh, problems in the South African environment, as well as the continent in general, of course, because we have very serious challenges with unemployment, with poverty, inequality, you know, food security and all those kinds of things. So to that extent, obviously trade is something that is a teaser. We start there, but the real story is to couple that with a, a level of investment that enables us to move away from being a developing economy into becoming a developed economy because there is no sustainable program of success if you continue to want to sell goods in an environment where employment is not actually growing uh, and jobs are not paying the kind of wages or salaries that are rising so that your products and your service can actually find sustainable markets over many years. So that particular challenge is very important and we see this as a very important initiative to begin having a much more closer relationship with the Italians so that these mega challenges that we face, not only in South Africa, in the region as well as the rest of the continent, that we can begin to tackle them because trade is a very important aspect, especially for the small and medium enterprises and many of the startups. And I think that the, th the issues that my colleagues from CDP was raising are very, very important and will be uh, on his door very quickly, uh, trying to see what else can we do together. Thank you. Great, thank you very much. And at the end of the day, these initiatives are really built to break down the barriers that could come in the way of these trade relationships, specifically on a micro level from company to company. And our last speaker for today represents a private company, Mr. Luigi Guerra. He's the CEO, the country manager for Sub-Saharan Africa of Santerno, a company operating very successfully for over 10 years in South Africa in the energy space. And my question to you is, especially having been here for 10 years, if you had the tool that CDP is offering available to you 10 years ago, would it have made your market entry easier? And given what we know today, having this tool available, what changes? Is this indeed a game changer? Your views on this, please, Mr. Guerra. Uh, first of all, thank you very much for having me here. And personally, I would have uh, much uh, less gray hair. So that's already a massive improvement. Um, as you said, we're here since 10 years, and um, I'm just going to make a couple of examples. Um, we operate in the, in, in the broad sector of energy, but mainly inverters. And um, 
the the first problem that we had when we had an opportunity to participate in one of these reipp projects was you've got to find a local partner possibly someone then you know has got some knowledge of the market itself uh, that has got a footprint in in south africa and if you go for the wrong one it's, it's an expensive exercise so uh, having a platform that can link South African companies that know how the country operates would have been a massive game changer. We would have saved a lot of money. We would probably have, um, you know, built um, our um, our market uh, at a different pace. And and secondly, I'm happy to hear that um, to the fat platform um, as sponsors, as you know, partners, we have a lot of financial institutions. When we came here, we had to work on cash collaterals. So that's an expensive exercise, right? And you don't want to work on cash collaterals because if I had that money, I would not give it to the bank to keep it safe. I would use it myself. So you know, having to today these kind of tools um, that can basically help you um, uh, throughout the entire life cycle of the project, from finance, finding the right partners we're talking a, a lot in the, um, in our um, you know uh, um, governmental plan for uh, uh, you know for uh, for power which is brilliant it's a brilliant program um, um, of um, 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 items that have um, uh, um, you know um, are listed and you get to get to a specific local content this is a way to integrate uh, business that is coming from abroad with uh, with the local needs um, and inverters for instance is one of those items that has always always been like borderline because they are um, included in the in the list that is prepared by the DTIC but at the end of the day we end up always waiving those requirements in terms of local content because we do not have local manufacturer that can support I don't think so I think that what I was missing is the link if I can find suppliers or specific component in the country, I can easily get to what is required by the DTIC. And that means that we are supporting, um, um, as a foreign company that has been investing in the country, um, local communities, um, local industries. Um, we are an example of fully integrated company. Uh, I'm managing a couple of branch, but I'm not actually an employee of the local company. Our guys are all South Africans. We employ more than 35 uh, previously disadvantaged people on our sites through the help of uh, some other massive Italian company like Handel Green Power. Um, and uh, they all form the local communities. This is an example of a model that is working because our operation and maintenance contract gets renewed, not just because we probably do uh, a good job, but because we are a fully integrated reality in, in, in a South African society. Thank you very much, Mr. Guerra. And it's really wonderful to hear the success story. And I would really like to latch on to your words when you said there was a missing link, because this platform that we are launching today is really the missing link. And I'm very proud to say that um, for the next two days, there will be online matchmaking sessions putting South African companies in touch with the over 2,400 Italian companies that are already registered on the platform. And there are going to be more registered every day. So it's a very exciting opportunity. And at the end of the day, as a business owner, for those listening to us online, it's really important to make use of the tools that technology has made available for us because most probably, those companies who don't use these tools are going to be left behind by the companies who do. And this is why we are especially proud of the very warm welcome that we have received also in South Africa from the various business organizations and associations such as Saki, such as BUSA, such as CIFSA, the Steel and Engineering Industry Federation, such as CAPEL, and many other organizations who have welcomed the initiative and have spread the word amongst their members. And of course, there will be a lot of follow-up actions because at the end of the day, I always say 
as the head of the Italian Chamber, my work is concluded when an invoice in ex is exchanged and a payment has been made and a project has been concluded. So on that note, let businesses now start talking to each other directly. We will conclude the online event. Thank you very much for participating, for those who have joined us here live in Johannesburg and to all the companies that followed us from Italy, from South Africa. Have a wonderful day. Thank you.